Hello, I'm Floyd Subcheck, here to talk about the important information needed to select the right hydraulic hose. Many people wonder if there's special information they need to know in order to replace the hose correctly. The answer to that question is yes. Luckily, all you have to do is remember the acronym STAMPED. Each letter stands for something different to help you select the right hose. To start, the S stands for size. Whenever you're selecting a hose, you need to know the inside diameter, the outside diameter, and the length of the hose you need. If visible, the hose ley line will provide a lot of that information. T stands for temperature. You want to make sure that the hose is rated for the minimum and maximum temperature of the fluid moving through the hose and the ambient temperature around the hose. A stands for application. You need to know where and how this hose will be used and if there's any special consideration, such as SAE specifications, environmental conditions, excessive abrasion, or operating temperature swings. The M stands for material, as in material that actually passes through the hose. You want to make sure that you select the hose that is compatible with whatever is passing through it, and also what's outside the hose. When in doubt, check the hose ratings for fluids conveyed or the chemical resistance table in the Gates Hydraulics Catalog. The P stands for pressure. Make sure that the hose has a rated working pressure that is greater than the system it's going to work on. In addition, you want to make sure that you select the correct reinforcement. If you cut a little bit of the hose cover off the hose you're looking to replace, you'll be able to see if it's wire braid or spiral. The E stands for ends. These are the couplings that you're actually going to put on the end of the hose to attach it to your equipment. Finally, the D stands for delivery. How much fluid is going through the hose? Knowing this will help you determine the hose size that must be used. The inside diameter of the hose must be adequate to keep pressure loss to a minimum and avoid damage to the hose due to heat generated by excess turbulence. That's it. Think stamped. Size, temperature, application, material, pressure, ends, and delivery. S-T-A-M-P-E-D. Stamped. Thanks for watching.